Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. Today, I have a super lit review for you guys. One that I've been really looking forward to doing. A shoe that I cannot tell you how much I really wanted to give my opinions on. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. This shoe is not only one of the best to release this year, it's definitely one of the most hyped and also one of the more expensive ones on the resale market. So I believe we're in store for a good video today. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Before I get into all that good stuff, I do have some homework to do, so please bear with me for a quick second. We recently did hit a thousand subscribers on this channel, and man, I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate all of the support from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to each and every single one of you guys. If I could go around and give each and one of you guys a handshake, I would. I really, really do appreciate. I'm thankful. I'm grateful for all of the support. Really, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate it. But as promised, I did give away the box logo. I recently just reached out to the winner yesterday. I'll put the comment that won in this video so you guys can see that I was not lying. I believe the winner's name was No Verdusco. So shout out to you. You're going to walk home with a free Fall Winter 18 box logo. I uh, hope you enjoy it. You can do as you please with it. It's a pretty big giveaway. So once again, congratulations to you. It's definitely a big deal if you ask me. But of course, there'll be a shit ton of more giveaways to come in the future. So if you guys are a fan of giveaways, please support the kid. Hit that subscribe button. I do not think you guys will be disappointed in the content, nor do I think you guys would want to miss out in these giveaways. So please continue supporting the kid. I'd really appreciate it. But let's get into the shoe. Enough of all that good stuff. There is quite a bit to discuss when it comes to the shoe. There's a lot of details, so I don't want to kill a lot of time. So without further ado, let's see it. Enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed that little beer I put together for you guys. But let's see it without further ado. Here it is the Air Jordan 6, Travis Scott, the Cactus Jack Jordan 6, whatever you guys want to call it. Definitely a super fire shoe. Definitely in contention of shoe of the year, if you ask me. But man, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Let's actually begin with the box because the box does have some details that I should highlight. Uh, if you guys haven't already seen, this box has like a olive green tint to it. Definitely very, very nice. Definitely different from what we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing that brown box, but this is definitely not a bad change. On this side, we have that Cactus Jack face and the Jumpman logo. On this side, we have that Cactus Jack label on it and also another Jumpman. Definitely really, really nice. If you guys want to see the size label, one side is the DSM tag, which is where I, I purchased these from. On the other side is the size label, if you guys want to see the actual details to it. But that is the box. The smaller details always count, and it's always nice to see little details like that on the box. But let's get into the actual shoe, what actually matters. Man, there's so many small little details to this shoe that uh, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest. But let's try to do our best. For the most part, this shoe has like a predominantly all suede upper with a hint of canvas to it. But for the most part, it's all olive green or like a forest green, if you ask me. Still along those earth tone vibes. Definitely really, really nice. It goes with a lot for sure. I feel like Travis is, uh, you know, not missing when it comes to picking 
picking the colorways of these shoes and this one is no exception but as far as the small little details on the tongue you have the first hint of canvas that you see on the shoe it has a embroidered jumpman in red a really nice vibrant red if you ask me under that you have another small little detail that a lot of people probably are not aware of it has a cactus jack logo on it which is pretty hard to see unless you unflap this little uh, this little flap but a really small little detail that I'm sure is how a lot of people are gonna get caught with fakes which is pretty dope if you ask me shout out to Travis and shout out to Nike for including that because I'm sure a lot of people are probably not gonna get that right but you also have these little lace locks which I love on one side you have a cactus jack label on it and on the other side you have a Jordan Jumpman logo which is really really nice I hope the camera was able to pick that up of course, as everybody knows, it has a little stash pocket. This is not even a stash pocket because it's pretty obvious to see what it is and that it opens up. You do have that little Cactus Jack logo inside the pocket, which is really nice. This pocket is honestly pretty deep. You can probably fit a lot in here. If you want to put some, I know a lot of people are saying you want to put your weed in there. A lot of weed will fit in there. Trust me, it's, uh, it's pretty spacious if you ask me. But... Also, inside the shoe, I don't really want to unlace these, but I think I'm going to have to. If you don't already know, the inside of the tongue is a bit frayed, which is really nice. The inside of the tongue has, again, that canvas material, which I feel will hold up really well going into the future. So if you want to like wear these a lot, I think that the materials that this shoe is made out of will hold up really well. So again, shout out to Travis for that. I feel like he makes shoes to see, you know, how much he can perform in and how much he can, you know, just kick them into the dirt because, uh, yeah, these definitely look like they'll be very, very durable. But into the back of the shoe you have that translucent pull tab which is really dope it has that hint of infrared which really pops I feel like the red really complements the shoe in many different ways you also have on the back that cactus jack embroidery which is really really clean I don't think that uh, a lot of people are disappointed about that I definitely am not myself it's actually one of my favorite parts of the shoe on one side is that cactus jack logo and on the other side you have that infamous Nike Air which again is super super dope Something that uh, I know a lot of Jordan heads would definitely appreciate Outside the shoe you have a black and white midsole which is super fire On the outside you also have a glow in the dark midsole with that infrared Jordan Jumpman logo which is crazy This glow in the dark outsole should not be slept on It's definitely one of the craziest glows that you will see on shoes I'll definitely put a picture on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about Actually if you guys seen the uh, the b-roll you'll see the glow on these shits is definitely no joke but uh, yeah, shout out to Travis for that. It's not like you will probably see the glow in many different places unless you go to like a club and you know you want to flex in a club, you'll definitely see the glow then. But you know, just walking down the street, you'll probably not notice the glow. Getting into the extras, you have two sets of laces. You have a black pair and you have a yellowish mustard pair. To be honest, I don't really know how these would look. Uh, I'm a little skeptical to put these on, not to mention that unlacing these bad boys is definitely a struggle because of, you know, under the canvas, you have to like really bop and weave your way through the little lace holes. But to be honest, I would like to see how these look on these shoes. Um, it's probably going to give it a different type of contrast. One that from what I can imagine wouldn't look good, but I'm sure that with the right outfit, it'll probably not look bad. But that is the details of the shoe. I do want to talk a little bit about resale prediction and, you you know where this shoe lands among the rest of the Travis Scott's to be honest in my opinion I'll put this right along the top of all of the Travis Scott's I'll probably put it below this bad boy not only because this is my favorite Travis Scott shoe to ever release it's also a iconic shoe it not only introduced the backward swoosh it uh you know th this brown colorway is probably one of the most unique colors to see on a pair of Jordan ones so uh, yeah this one is going to be hard to beat but not to mention this shoe has elements yet that make it just as unique as this shoe but it's just not at the level of you know this shoe but nonetheless a still fire shoe I would put it over this shoe however because this shoe came out second in line behind the Jordan 1 high I would put this one at around 4 or 5 in the uh, in the line of Travis Scott releases but nonetheless still a fire shoe 
I would likely put this one at around two or three, whether in front or behind the Jordan 4, the blue one that is. I'm not even going to mention the purple, the, the friends and family pair, because uh, yeah, I've yet to touch that one. If I do, then we'll have to reevaluate this whole list. But for now, I would put it either the Travis Scott Jordan 1 high, then the Jordan 4, and then the 6. You can even interchange the 6 and the 4 if you want to. There's definitely no problem with me. But um, definitely this shoe is one of the best shoes to release this year. I love everything about the shoe. It's comfortable. Um, it goes with a lot. It's not too loud. Man, Travis Scott just killed it, to be honest. This shoe fits true to size, so if you're wondering and if you want to pick up a pair and you're just not sure what, uh, what size to get, I'm a size 10 and a half, and this shoe is a size 10 and a half, and it fits me perfect. But um, yeah, let's get into resale predictions. I would say for right now, it's the lowest that this shoe will probably ever be, similarly to how the past releases went. If you have a pair of these, I definitely would recommend holding, especially if you have a smaller size. This shoe here is a size eight and a half, and at the moment is going for about $1,200. If you have a GS pair or like a toddler pair, um, I would actually still recommend holding those as well. For the toddler pairs, I would say you have a little bit more area to uh, experiment with. If you want to field some offers and you hear something you like and you want to sell it, that's not an issue because uh, the market for toddler pairs isn't as quite large as the GS market or the men market. But um, again, I don't think it's a bad hold if you do want to hold them. For the GS pairs, I would say it's definitely a good hold. It seems like a lot of ladies are filling the shoe. So uh, I do think that the prices will climb on those as well. For men's pairs, if you have like a size, uh, I would say like seven through 10, it's a for sure hold. If you ask me, I would definitely not sell them right now. If you have a larger size, in my opinion, it's still a hold. I actually have a size 13, which on drop day we're going for about 850 to like 900 bucks. Now it's around $700, which is still a great turnaround. This is a $250 shoe. So you're still getting about three times the return, which is definitely nothing to be upset about. But uh, to be honest, I do think that by the end of the year, come Christmas, when people are gift shopping, these will definitely take a little bit of a spike. If not by Christmas, I think by the summer and definitely by next fall, next winter which is when these type of shoes will uh, you know be in most demand I think that this shoe will probably be at, at least $1,500 for the smaller pairs it could even exceed $2,000 just like the Jordan 1 did at least a safe area would be around $1,300 to $1,500 which is definitely a great great flip if you ask me um, me personally, I'm planning on holding all the pairs. I have three pairs at the moment. One is my personal, which I already took to the fee. I actually already took a fit pick in it. So if you guys want to go check that out on Instagram, please do. I'd really appreciate it. But um, yeah, I would say hold them. Hold them for dear life because this is definitely a big time gem. But that is my review of the Travis Scott Jordan 6. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, comment your thoughts, and please subscribe to the channel. It'll definitely be appreciated. If you were fortunate enough to pick up a pair of these, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know. Also, let me know what are your plans with them. I am really interested to see what people are planning to do with their pairs. But thank you guys so much for watching once again. Until next time, peace.